Hello everyone and welcome to It's Meal Time, your home of simple recipes ideal for beginners in the kitchen. Before we start, please subscribe and click the bell button to be updated about the recipes we are uploading here on our channel. Alright, give me a thumbs up and let us start cooking right now. I will be sharing you my own version of cooking or making cassava cake. So for this recipe, we will be using 4 cups of grated cassava, milk, butter, cream, sugar, cheese, all-purpose flour or cornstarch will do, and then water. Let's start! So, nagpainit na po ako ng tubig sa aking pot. And then, I will be adding up my sugar. The usual that we're doing when we're cooking cassava cake is that we're mixing up all the ingredients and then ibinibake natin siya. But mine is different because I do not want a cassava cake na after mong ilagay sa ref for a few days ay matigas na. So, this is how I do it. I'm cooking my grated cassava in water and sugar just like this. Para maluto siya ahead at maging malambot. So as I achieve my desired consistency just like this, okay na po ito para sa steaming. So I have already prepared my uh, pan. This is already greased with butter. And here, I will be transferring the cooked grated cassava at imomold ko lang po siya just like this. Alright, once it's molded, ay ililipat ko na po ito sa aking steamer. And then, I will steam this for a few minutes. So, while it's steam po ako ng uh, base ng ating cassava cake, I will be preparing a filling or a custard mixture in which I will cook the milk, the butter, and the cream all together. And then I will add up the cornstarch in order to thicken the sauce. In order to balance the taste, I will also add up grated cheese just like this and then hahalu-haluin ko lang po ito hanggang sa pumapal or ma-achieve ko rin yung aking desired na consistency here, kailangan continuous lang yung ating paghahalo to make sure na yung ating mixture ay hindi masusunog so here I have already achieved my desired consistency and Done na rin po yung aking cake. So, at this point, ay ihahalo ko na po yung ating mixture sa ibabaw ng ating kasaba. Just like this. So, once na mapantay ko na or mailagay ko na lahat yung aking mixture, ay ilalagay ko lang po ito sa oven for a few minutes. After a few hours, here is our cassava cake. It is rich in toppings but the base is soft. I assure you that when you do this, kahit ilagay nyo po ito sa ref for a few days, ay hindi po titigas yung ating base. This is delicious. The base is not so sweet but the toppings is rich. Try it now! Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang recipe ito, mag-subscribe lang po kayo sa aming YouTube channel 
please don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever there is a new video uploaded. Thank you for watching! It's meal time! Bye!